Ooh, time to take a look at what's new this week in Warframe. For the Archon Hunt this week, it is Archon Burrell for a Azura Archon Shard, which is an extermination mission, followed by a defense mission, followed by taking down Azura, which of course, being the Azura Archon Shard, means Chipper will also be selling an Azura Archon Shard. So I'm not heading over there. Over in Daviri Town, on the circuit, it is on normal, a choice of Ash, Frost, or Nyx. But for Steel Path Circuit, for your Incarnate Genesis devices, this would be what is basically now week six, because now there's seven weeks. The Akenbrunt, the Soma, the Vastor, the Nami Solo, or the Burston. Remembering the one you pick first, you will get a tier five. The one you pick second, you will get a tier ten. That is actually, I like that one. Nightwave Elite Act this week, completes a defense mission reaching at least wave 20, and kill a thousand enemies in Steel Path. Normal Acts, unlock four Dragon Key Vaults on Deimos, so much better now you don't need a key to basically get to those missions like you used to once need. You still need a key to open them though, just to be clear on that one. Complete three rescue missions, complete three spy missions, collect 15 Vorm or Fass residue in the Cambian Drift. It can be Seven of one, eight of the other. And kill 30 Xmas enemies. It's a rare week for the cred offerings because... Stanax doesn't have a helmet here. <gasps> I think everybody else I'm getting sick of seeing his helmets constantly in here. There is the usual... That would be the things at the top. There's no key for the Overleap this week, which is... Strange. There's usually something up there. Aura wise, corrosive projection, minus 18% armor for enemies, always useful having. Enemy radar. I'm not willing to comment on that one until we find out some other things that should be happening this week. Steel charge, 60% melee damage, and rifle amp. Which one you use de literally depends on what you're doing. If you're going melee only, steel charge. If you're running a rifle over anything else, rifle amp. Going up against uh, high level? Yeah. There is the Fragor Brock skin blueprint, the Sindor Dagarak skin blueprint, the Heat Sword blueprint. This would be the blueprint to build the actual Heat Sword, same as the Heat Dagger. Blueprint to build the actual Heat Dagger. These two are melee weapons. Saturn 6 emblem. Emblem. So it goes on the arm, not a sigil. Grohl's Kubradon Floof, there is the Kinetic Siphon Trap Decoration, Land and Craft Decoration, Falcor Shock Camo Skin Blueprint, the Exergis Shock Camo Skin Blueprint, print even, Augment Wise, Skull Shots, Ammo Efficiency for the Viper, wish it worked on the Jewel, that would make it so much better, the Decoy Augment for Loki, and Latron's Double Hit, 20% bonus damage on next shot for 2 seconds, on hit. Don't really know why I keep saying this, but if you do have the Helminth Invigoration segment, that will also now have reset, and it's always worth keeping an eye on, because every 10th does mutate, allowing it to put it on any Warframe you want to put it on, not just the one selected. May have gone to the wrong place, but heading off to see what Teshin has this week for his Steel Path Honor store, and is it, in fact, the, we the week of weeks? It is. The Umbra Forma blueprint is here. Kind of, I don't know if this was done on purpose with what will happen in a moment, and the Umbra Forma turning up, always worth picking these up. I do like everybody else, wish they're a little bit cheaper. I think Steel Essence costs in here are a little bit on the high side, but it's the only way to get a hold of an Umbra Forma blueprint, is to buy it from Teshin. That is it. The only way to get Umbra Formas, outside of special alerts that happen every now and then. I believe there's one due in November. May possibly be one due later in October if they decide they're going to run one. But yeah, Umbra Forma are not easy to get a hold of. So if you can, always worth picking these up. And lastly, of course, coming the 18th to all platforms, this Wednesday, the Abyss of Degath. Update 34 will go live, which of course will bring Degath, a new Warframe, and quite a lot more. Quality of life stuff with Hydroids Rework, uh, 
companions will no longer die. The new items that were supposed to be there for the Knights of Nebris that returned on the 4th of October. Yeah. And of course, Grendel Prime. With the Masita Prime and the Zylog Prime, and quite a bit more, considering obviously there is a way to get a hold of him. As of when on Wednesday? It could be anything from 10 a.m. ET until 2 p.m. ET. It's about a four hour window. It could be 10 a.m. because that's when consoles tend to update, and it could be any time from there till about 2 p.m. because that's when they usually used to do updates. I'm going to guess a little bit earlier, but it will probably be about 2pm ET when Grendel Prime goes live. A little bit after the update actually goes up. But damn, I'm actually... There's a few things in this I'm looking forward to actually playing with. Like, Sentinel's no longer dying. Grendel Prime. The... Which one do you go for first? The new frame or Grendel Prime? The new dojo room, which is obviously how you get to Gath. So much to come, and the amount of things they're changing in the background. Ooh, would really love to have had an update on that something else that they were supposed to be mentioning that they didn't mention yet. And it goes live in... Goes live on Wednesday. And with that, we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.